telehealth in its true form that we are focusing on is vital sign monitoring where we can put a piece of equipment, a telehealth monitor, that goes into the patient's home and it can, it's based around chronic condition management at the moment and we can monitor that patient's vital signs. The monitor can carry out, for example, uh, your pulse oximetry if you've got a respir respiratory condition such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It can carry out monitoring around heart failure so we can wait weigh the individual on a daily basis. We can carry out heart rates and we've got blood, glu blood glucose monitoring. To improve our service and to increase our utilisation of the monitors we've got across North Wales, um, we've introduced um, integrated working with the local authority monitoring centre called Gowler Govel. They will look at the readings on a daily basis and if that patient's readings have gone outside of the parameters, they will contact the patient and ask them to do a retest and then they will contact the relevant clinician who will then take the necessary action. From a patient perspective, they're really enjoying the telehealth monitoring. They find that it does help them to remain at home for longer, that they're becoming more independent and that they're starting to self-manage their own condition. And they've also got the reassurance that if there is any of their readings have gone outside of what's known for them, that they will be contacted and an intervention provided. I have a patient at the moment on telehealth, Frank from Conway, and I initiated telehealth because we identified that he was on medication that can give adverse effects and he has a chronic condition that requires titration of med medication from his cardiology management plan. So we were able to initiate the telehealth monitors vital signs from a distance which gave him great reassurance that he was being cared for daily really. Yeah. I, I think this machine, what's, what they put in the girls, is uh, brilliant and I think it's going to extend my life a bit, you know what I mean? I know I'm not, I know I'm, this year I'm, I'm 87, I'm probably coming to the end of the tunnel like, but uh, you don't look at it that way, do you? You know what I mean? But uh, that's brilliant for me. I do not want to go in hospital, if I can help it. I mean, see, I've got a good nurse here, with all my medication, and I've got a good secretary. And I mean a good secretary, she, she writes everything down and, and that's it. So I, I'm on a, I'm gonna keep out of hospital. I've got a good team of nurses looking after me. He usually gets the scales out and and it comes on. I press OK that we want to do a reading and and then we just go through it like you've seen it us. It ten minutes to do it all. The other night, his chest was very oh, wheezy. It, it? So when it said, is your breathing worse? Which it was, I could oh, hear gosh. it. And uh, I pressed, yes, it is worse. And straight away, Colette's on the phone. They are absolutely wonderful, what they do. I'll say it again, I've said it many a time. The last three years I've been in a very dark tunnel and there was no light at the end of that. But now there is.